Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today we're going to take a look at a trace file, a little uh, case study on what a customer asked me the other day. And his question to me was, I know some of my um, users out there are using uh, BitTorrents or Torrents, and he wanted to see if there was an easy way to find them. And I asked him if there was a specific BitTorrent client that he knows most people uh, are likely to use, and he said, uh, yeah, uTorrent. And I said, all right. So we went, got uTorrent installed it on a machine, um, downloaded uh, Wireshark on a BitTorrent, and basically uh, captured the data. So let's run through it and see how we can find this type of stuff out. So I've got myself a trace file that's totally unfiltered. I'm using the new uh, Wireshark version uh, 1.10, which is kind of cool. You can see the icons look a little different. Status bar has uh, some extra information and we're going to cover in just a few more minutes. So the first thing we need to do is uh, filter out any extraneous stuff. I only want my stuff, so let's start with that. Statistics, endpoints, and the endpoint report pops up, and I know this is my MAC address. If you don't know what your MAC address is, in Windows, go to the command prompt, IP config slash all, blah, 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 blah. So I want to filter on that, right click, apply as filter, and select it. And you'll see here I have eth.addr double equal sign and my MAC address. So now this is all my stuff. Now if I take a look down here in the bottom, 91.7% of this data or these packets are mine. So we didn't filter too much out, which is kind of nice to know. Next thing, what we're going to do is uh, take a look at the trace file and see what it's doing. Well, these torrents, these torrent clients do a lot of stuff. This is a very interesting little packet I tell people about uh, many times over and that is um, the NAT PMP protocol and what it's trying to do it's a port mapping protocol and you're trying to tell your router how to forward packets to me based on a port number and if you're curious you just highlight one and open this up and you can see what it's trying to do. It's trying to map these port numbers to your IP address. And for the people who have home routers or routers that allow this to happen, um, and you have a couple of people doing this at the same time, it can really start to degrade performance relatively quickly. So it's just a little point, just something to see. And you can see there's tons and tons and tons of traffic. Uh, but one of the things you will notice as you go through this is some HTTP. And HTTP can be used by the client to do all sorts of things from put up ads, um, as well as just the administrative and functional portion of that protocol. So what I'm going to do is just pick this guy on packet 37, get time PHP, and if I look down here, I'm going to open this up, and you can see it says user agent VT web client. So you could actually have a filter if you wanted to for this user agent, and you would have a list of all the IPs of everybody in your environment that are running this client. There you go. There's one way to do that. The other thing we're going to do is I'm going to try to find that packet or packets where my Wireshark download starts. So I'm going to just simply do a control F for edit find and I'm going to type Wireshark. See it's uh, gone pink or summon and I'm going to click on strings. I'm searching for a string and I'm going to try the packet list. Find. Nothing. No packet contained that string in its info column. All right, let's try the detail. Find. Nothing. All right, let's try the bytes. Find. Boom. Oh, we got one. Well, interestingly enough, it's a UDP packet. And if we look down here in the bytes pane, you'll see Wireshark 1.03. Wow. So a couple of things. Number one, we're actually using UDP to download this file, which may or may not be the case with all clients. That's good to know. We know the port numbers and we know the IP. So this is kind of an interesting little exercise in being able to find those packets when it's down into this byte area, not necessarily the detail or the list. So it's good to have an open mind and try all three panes. And the last thing I want to briefly show you, stats, and we'll go to conversations. And there's my conversation, there's all the MAC addresses, who's talking to who, and the IP addresses. And you can see, I'm going to limit this to my display filter, and I want to find out how many IPs I'm talking to for this Wireshark download. 197 IPs. 
Ugh. Nice. And you can see 21 TCP connections and 204 UDP connections. And this is one person getting one file. So many people getting many files makes this a lot worse. And there you go. So we just basically walked through a file and poked around. Have yourself a good day. Bye for now.